Welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon bringing you another fun-filled episode of Clash of Clans action and yes, today we address some of the questions, comments, and concerns regarding the recent update, the lack of updates, what's coming to the game, what's changing, what's not, and of course, what's not is me asking you to subscribe to the channel, maybe even turning on notifications, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and of course, using a creator code before you make a purchase in any Supercell game. Remember, it doesn't have to be code Galadon. It's my favorite, but remember, there are many hardworking content creators out there that are trying to get by on meager YouTube revenue, which we all admit is not what it used to be. And, you know, the creator code is a nice little bonus that doesn't cost players a thing. And apparently, not enough of you are using code Galadon to fund me fully gemming the clan capital update. I know, I know you're disappointed. You wish that maybe, I don't know, Mr. Beast had shown up. Uh, that was the most common comment in the gem to max uh, for the massive cost that it would be to gem the clan capital to maxed out. Uh, the credit card company questions live in the stream and in the videos were true as well. I don't know. It's just one of those things. And yes, I agree with you. Even if I had so much money, I didn't know what to do with it. I would not gem this update to max. It just doesn't make any sense. A lot of players were actually concerned that Galadon was going to go crazy and we're happy to see that I'm saving for Town Hall 15, which if all goes to plan and Clash doesn't add some other crazy insane thing, I'll go ahead and gem that one to max when it arrives. In the meantime, we will be purchasing every single package that shows up in the shop that has a book or a rune. Now this was a very popular suggestion that had to do with clicking a little ladder to go from one district to the next. I know it's TLDR, but let's just say I passed it on to Supercell. A lot of you think that five attacks over the weekend is not enough. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that's probably a pretty good number considering all of the other things that are happening. Yes, you should be able to buy books of heroes and a builder potion. I passed that along as well. And I think it's hilarious kind of that Clan members can secretly get in, upgrade trees, and nobody usually can catch them. Uh, now, what else is going on? Oh, yes. Okay, this is also a very popular opinion, and that is, remember that most people only have one Clash of Clans account. So this update for them is a big deal, especially if your clan is less than active. Kind of a good thing. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, look at the likes on this one. I agree, though. Yes, as a player focusing on home village, I'm not going to be helping out all that much. I do wish that we could use auto on the forge, even if it was only to forge builder base loot. Like Michael said, I think that is a great suggestion. Also passed on to the Clash of Clans team. Moving on to other recent issues. Yes, if you paid attention and this this shocks me. The number of people that actually thought that I used a book on that upgrade. There was a lot of comments just like this where people apparently don't watch my videos or maybe they zone out once they get into them. I'm not sure. Is it my voice? Is it the content? Why are you not paying attention? I hope you are better than this at school because, man, otherwise you're never going to make it out of high school at that rate, right? Okay, let's move on and talk about now a lot of players liked this comment about a tunneling hero like the Mighty Miner or something along those lines. I thought that was interesting just that it had that many likes. Also, remember, I stream on Facebook every day except for Saturday, and the URL is at the end of the video and in the description, so make sure you check it out. It is a fun place to talk with me anytime you want, or you can come on over to my Discord, where I don't talk quite as often, I'll be honest with you guys. If you want a chance to ask me a question directly and guarantee yourself an answer, come to the Facebook live streams, okay? I promise I answer all the questions over there. Um, okay, speaking of answering questions, no, it, your, your base isn't strange but true. It is so hard to find one. I mean, obviously, if you had one with 10 builders, okay, that's great. But no, it's just not happening anymore, you guys. I appreciate your efforts. Tweet me at Galadon Gaming. The Twitter handle is right there on the right-hand side of the screen if you find one. And I'll tell you why it's not strange. That's how rare they are these days. It just doesn't seem to happen anymore. Also, a lot of predictions that the next hero will actually not be human. Neither male nor female. It'll be an animal or a plant or something like that. I actually think this is kind of a cool idea. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something that outrageous, outlandish, and unexpected. Remember, the Clash of Clans team is all about surprising players and keeping us on our toes. 
everybody is expecting another hero at Town Hall 15. Galadon goes out and makes a video even predicting the gender and ethnicity. It's kind of ridiculous, I know, but I think that we probably will see something significant along the hero lines at Town Hall 15, but I also predict it is going to be something that throws all of us off. We're not going to be able to predict. I predict we can't predict, okay? That's the prediction. Now on to some more, even more general comments. I wanted to say, talking about me in the third person in my comments is kind of like strange. I don't know if I guess they expect they're not going to get a reply from me, but I, I reply, I like, I comment, I see you guys down there, and I genuinely, sincerely appreciate, and I want to take this moment to tell you guys, thank you. Those of you that have been sticking around for a long time, because remember, the channel is like nine years old this month. It is nine years old, June 2022. And although I have 2 million subscribers, or just about 2 million, Peter $17 face reveal, remember that a huge number of those subscribers are really old time subscribers. Literally people that have been subbed five, six, seven, eight years. And that is a big part of the reason that maybe I don't get the views that a channel that has 2 million subs would typically get as it's growing. Think about us older YouTubers. Uh, the old guys like Molt and Nick and Knight and Chief Pat, we've been around for a long time. And again, our subscribers have been around for a long time as well. I appreciate you guys is what I'm trying to say. It's a long way to make a short message and say thank you so much for continuing to watch the channel. You guys changed my life. And seriously, here we are. This is my career streaming and casting. Well, not casting anymore and YouTube, but it's a lot of fun. I enjoy interacting with you guys. And that's why I always encourage you guys to come to the live streams because it's even more fun than making videos and playing Clash is talking talking to the Clash community. And as I say that, we begin the salty section of the comments, all right? It is the SSOC. I, I make up a new acronym every time. And I will admit that sometimes I get a little salty. I can even appear short or mean or nasty, and it's always meant in good humor. I'm just trying to, you know, have fun with you guys. Occasionally there are comments that are super negative. Usually I avoid replying and engaging with trolls, but every now and then it's fun because I don't take it personally. I love to talk about the different points of view that people have, and sometimes they just don't make a lot of sense. So yes, down there in the corner are some of my saltier replies. And like I said, it's just one of those things where you have to remember with a channel like this, you're always going to get all kinds of people. When a small channel starts, you get like 99.99% likes. Almost every single person likes every video. Eventually, it gets to the point that even if you're the nicest person in the world, people will dislike you. I don't know what happens, but okay. And then some comments I just happen to agree with. Um, okay, let's move on. And uh, that, oh, wait a minute, let's not move on. That's about it. That's, that's gonna just about wrap it up, uh, except for this comment, I thought, this was, I, I didn't watch that whole trial thing, but I got into this comment thread because I thought it was hilarious. Thank you guys for entertaining me. I hope that I continue to entertain you. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode, Galafam. True hashtag Galafam, you know I love thinking about and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and you'll be kind to other people, animals on the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. I did that in one try, by the way. video making that would make you how old and wait have you applied for your senior citizen discount <laughs>